the, the justification of this that we're hearing that's being said here is um, the in-person briefings have led to leaks. Is that a legitimate concern? We're all concerned about leaks. We don't want any leaks to happen. We need to hold people accountable if they leak. But uh, this has been a standard White House response whenever career public servants of the intelligence community are allowed to tell the truth about what's actually going on with regard to foreign security threats. Um, in this particular case, uh, I'm not looking at a leak. I'm looking at a press release from the office of the director of national intelligence from early August, which says that only Russia right now is interfering in our elections and doing so persistently and doing so in a way that uh, is different than what happened in 2016 and potentially much more uh, extensive than before. Has the DNI or, or anyone uh, in his office communicated to your committee any specific leaks that they say concern them and lead to this decision? No. And in fact, um, I wish that uh, the Trump administration would send officials to our committee and talk to us about uh, these potential leaks before going to Fox News. Instead of going to Fox News, it would be more productive if they actually discuss the matters with us. And I think that goes to the politicization of the particular issue at hand. Um, we know that these career public servants have detailed information about the ongoing threat right now that Russia poses to the 2020 elections. And this information is vital for the American people to know, Steve. It's not information that belongs to Donald Trump. It's information that's collected by the intelligence community that the American people paid for and deserve to know right now. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor, subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Meet the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.